So first things first, we want to make sure this is approximately in the middle. Doesn't matter that much, but it looks good if it's in the middle. So what's that? 72 that side, and on this side it's 70. Well, it's about there. <laughs> uh, we want to do the same with the stepper motor. Make sure it's loose enough because otherwise it'll be difficult to move. So that's 145 to the end. That's 146. Right. So that's about right now. Remember, this doesn't actually matter if it's right in the middle. You could have it over to one side if you want. Again, it's just about being vertical. So as long as this is directly above this, then you're fine. So I'm just going to do one side and you can uh, you can do the other. They're obviously both the same. Remember, for this part, you will need your lead screws, whichever you've got to match your nuts. So hopefully you can see, we can measure it as well, that, oh, no, it's moved now. But when you put this in, if they're not lined up, then this lead screw will have a smaller gap here and a larger gap here or vice versa. So what you're trying to do is make sure as you put this in place, that the gaps on either side are the same. Thus, this must be vertical because these are vertical. So the way we're going to do it is actually fix it into the bottom. Not with that though, because that one's too big. This is why you put this in now and not while you're doing the other bits, because it makes the bed a plane to move. There you go. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's not directly above it, actually. To be honest, eyeballing it, it's probably close enough. Because of this coupler, if this is just off, then the coupler will compensate for that. In a lot of builds, you see an integrated lead screw into the base, and if the screws then not straight, then it's going to be forcing this around every time it's moving. Whereas, because we've got this coupler, which is effectively very loose compared to the rest of the build, any non-straightness of this lead screw will, I mean, it will have a slight change to the amount of Z height you get, but very small. And it stops any of those sort of Z wobble bits that you get. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that how it is. It's not perfect. You can see it moves a little bit, but in terms of distance both sides, what have we got? 104, 104, 104, 104, 104, 104. 104. So that's pretty dead on. So I'm just going to go fix that as it is. I think there is a forwards backwards sort of component that you need to be aware of as well but it should sort of sort itself out short of short itself short of sort of short of so that's well that's pretty good as far as i'm concerned i'm going to go flip around now and do the other side so with this side everything obviously just done the same We'll make sure this is in the middle. It was what, 145 about? Somewhere there. Lovely jubbly. Uh, you should note that if you want to use the enclosure, the holes that are set in the panel for the base are designed for this step motor to be in the middle. So it has a little bit of leeway either side, so you don't have to cut exactly precise holes. But if you want to use that, make sure you set your enclosure holes for the stepper motors to whatever position your stepper motors are in. 144, 145, let's just squeeze it over a little bit. Oops, there's the entire it down. Okay. 
Again, get your lead screw in. So you'll see here, as I twist this, this end moves and this end doesn't. Obviously they're locked in place once this is set, but you also want to make sure they're level. So if you, if you have got some spare 2020 lying around, you can use that to set your bed height as well level, just to make sure your stepper motor is the same both way rounds. I wouldn't necessarily bother doing it now, just because you're going to be messing around with all sorts of other stuff manually on the on the printer, like putting the bed in, putting the electronics, any enclosure and stuff you want to add on. So I'd do that sort of when you're ready to start setting up. Start by putting that across. Uh, so you basically you put this across hand twist these all the way down until they contact both sides and that's pretty much it you don't want to push it down because that'll extend the uh, the coupler you just want to let them contact both sides and then you'll know that the bed is sort of parallel perpendicular whichever faces you're looking at to the frame and both stepper motors will be at the same point but for now let's just eyeball it about there that'll do Tighten this in. I think this is actually not the right size. I think this is actually too small, but it's fine. So what did we have? 104, 104, 104, 104, 104. It looks straight, so I think we're going to go with that. That was just making sure these two sides are level. So there we go. That's all you need to do for the bed. That's now set and ready to go. I mean, as you can see, it's stiff as anything. It does move when I force it, but Realistically, that's not really happening during the print. So, now you've got a nice sturdy frame and a nice sturdy bed platform. In the next video, we'll go through adding the bed in and then we'll move on to electronics and things like that. Wiring everything in, make it look nice and tidy. Right, see you in the next one.